The drought in many parts of the country continues to bite even after rain in some of the affected areas. The entire North Island, parts of the South Island and the Chatham Islands are in drought. And now under-stress farmers have the double whamming of having to go into lockdown because of COVID-19. Andrew McRae reports. Parts of Northland and Waikato have had some rain, but not enough to break the back of the extreme dry. And significant rain isn't forecast anytime soon. Neil Baitup from the Rural Support Trust says some areas have started to green up, but it hasn't solved the problem, although he says it's a promising start. While the paddocks have got a green tinge on them now, there's still no, no feed, so a lot of supplement feed's still going on at the moment. And I believe quite a number of herds, anecdotally, um, are drying off now, and I'm in the process of helping dry off a part of my herd. Neil Baitup says herds are normally dried off in early May. At Northland, there's been sporadic rain, which Julie Juncker from Rural Support describes as a slow, creeping response, but still nowhere near the amount required and nowhere near a drought breaker. Some on the east coast got uh, rain a bit earlier on, so with the follow-up rain, they'll be feeling a little bit more confident. Some of the fronts that came through will have delivered a bit of rain everywhere, but that certainly, it's not enough to make a significant difference, but certainly enough to boost morale a little bit that things are changing. While grey and overcast in North Canterbury today, there isn't any sign of rain and there hasn't been any for a long time. Winton Daly from the Huranui Adverse Events Committee says most farmers are now resigned to the fact it won't be a good autumn. I think everybody's hunkering down now for a fairly seriously long winter and and just trying to work out their feed supplies and and their stocking rates to, to get through. Niwa meteorologist Ben Knoll says much of the country has had some rainfall this month, between 40 and 60 per cent of the March average, but not enough to even beat the soil moisture deficit that's built up. We're seeing uh, anywhere from uh, 20, 30 up to 50 millimetres across the North Island, and that takes uh, another two or three soaking rainfall events to bring us back to what would be considered normal in terms of soil moisture. Winton Daly says during a drought, farmers are encouraged to get out, socialise and talk to those facing similar issues. But with the COVID-19 lockdown, that will change. That's going to be much more difficult for farmers particularly. Um, They'll be much more isolated socially. So we're just really asking them to, I guess, um, socialise the best they can, social media and just get on the telephone, have a yarn, have a yarn to the neighbour, have a yarn to family and... uh, and friends. He says morale is probably up a bit. Now the country is starting to realise the primary sector may be the saviour of an economy being ravaged by the virus outbreak. Neil Baitup from Rural Support agrees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ironically it may well be, but um, yeah, farmers you know, just get on and do their thing um, and um, work independently and, and they will still continue to do that and if they can do their part for the company or uh, country well, that's, you know, that, that's tremendous too. There's no rain on the horizon, according to Ben Knoll from Niwa, until about mid-April. The checkpoint, core Andrew McRae-Tenay.